Hey guys, and welcome back to Ash's Toy World. Today, we are going to be putting together a 100 piece puzzle because Frozen 2 is finally out in theaters. I will be seeing it very shortly. I think my mom and I are gonna take my son to it and I'm super, super excited. And so I was at the dollar store today and they have a ton of different Frozen 2 puzzles and it's for a dollar. But they had a couple different ones. They had one that was just Anna and they had one that was just Elsa, but I had to get the one of both Anna and Elsa. So we are gonna open this up. Let me know in the comments below if you are going to go and see this movie. I'm super excited. Frozen is definitely one of my favorite um, Disney movies. Okay, so these are the size of the puzzle piece. My favorite trick that my grandma taught me about doing puzzles is taking the outside pieces, basically the border of the puzzle, and separating them from pieces that don't have straight edges. So that's what we're gonna do is we're going to just separate the border pieces from the pieces that will fill in the puzzle. So now that we have our two piles, this pile is our straight edge pieces and that will be the border of the puzzle. And then we have the pieces that will fill in the puzzle. So the pieces that will fill in the puzzle, we are just gonna move to the side. So I'm going to put this picture just over here for reference so that I can look at it if needed. So we are just going to start by building this puzzle. Now, another thing with these pieces in a trick is if they have if the piece has two straight pieces, that means it's gonna be a corner piece. So this is gonna be our first corner piece. Here's another one, and looking at the picture, it will go in this top right corner. Here's our next one. This is gonna go in the top left corner. And here is our last corner piece. Okay, so now basically we're just gonna start filling in this puzzle. So it does look like we are missing a piece. Start filling in the puzzle with these pieces and maybe I accidentally put in the last piece to the border in this pile, which I have done before when doing puzzles. piece to the border it did get mixed up with the other pieces so now that our border is complete we're getting somewhat close to finishing this puzzle <laughs> So we finished the puzzle. This is what the puzzle looks like. I think it is so cute. I did this puzzle in about 20-ish minutes, give or take. It was so fun. It wasn't very difficult. For this puzzle being a dollar, it was so worth it in my opinion. There were so many other puzzles to choose from and they had some that were for 48 pieces and some that were 100. So. 
I highly suggest always checking the dollar store when it comes to stocking stuffers. I found a lot of different stocking stuffers that I want to do for my son and they had so many different cute puzzles as well. They didn't just have Frozen. I saw some Rapunzel puzzles, some little boy puzzles. I think they had like Toy Story, PJ Masks, Paw Patrol. Like they had different kinds and I think they even may have had some superheroes. So anyway, definitely check the dollar store if you were needing stocking stuffers this year or any kind of little birthday gifts or white elephant gifts. They have a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked this type of video, let me know in the comments and I will definitely be doing some more of these. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.